All righty. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday. It is the Earthmaster out here uh, on the road to recovery here. 1120 a.m. California time, November 6, 2024 is the date. The latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 1.8. Uh, also looks like 1.9 there into the uh, western area of Texas. I'm uh, going to jump into space weather activity here first where uh, we saw a X flare here just a couple hours ago. Pretty decent X flare from an earth facing side sunspot uh, from the sunspot area I've been chatting about here for the last couple days. A little uncertain though on if it produced any type of CME, but uh, there it is. Center disc there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the X-ray chart. This was actually uh, early, early this morning here. Uh, prior to everyone getting up for an X 2.3. Uh, fairly decent X flare right there. Now looking at this, looks to be very impulsive in terms of the uh, potential CME activities. I don't think it shot off anything in terms of eruptive activity. Um, so it doesn't look like anything's uh, been produced from that X flare. A little M flare following that event. Uh, now we're back down here into the C flare category. So elevated flare threat remains here as long as these sunspots are currently uh, doing their thing. 3883 is the sunspot area that has produced that X flare. And um, no doubt it is fairly dynamic. A lot of intermixing here of the colors indicating a highly complex polarity in the magne magnetic structure there of that sunspot. So keep an eye. Uh, on this area specifically, uh, also back here across uh, a little bit further on the eastern area of the sun, got a regional group here as well that's shown a little bit of complexity. But right now, the main area of concern, a lot of popcorn intermixing colors of that uh, sunspot region, very capable of producing some further X flares. Uh, also around the bend here, coming off the eastern limb, well, we got another sunspot area, so... Things are continuing to stay active out here. 35% chance for X flare, M flare 80, C flare around 99% chance or so. No major roars in the forecast there, folks. Goodness. <clears throat> All right, earthquake activity. What do we got out here? A lot of uptick going on here across the Fiji area, Tonga region. One earthquake back prior here to the Kermadec Trench. That's a little interesting. Uh, early this morning here, 4.6 just prior to the subduction zone. Keep an eye on that area. Those little quakes here do tend to give off a little hint that this region is strained when we see this earthquake activity back here to the plate boundary. Uh, it is an area of interest, obviously. A lot of deeper activity here across the Fiji area, including a fairly large 5.9 up north here. Got two deep earthquakes within about 20 minutes or so of each other. For uh, 5.1 and then a 5.9. And again, fairly deep there with the deepest one being 364 miles deep into the uh, Tonga Trench area. Uh, for California, see what we got going on here. Uh, some further movement off the coast of San Diego. Uh, looks like a little earthquake out on the, uh, oh, this fracture zone. Actually, it's a trough, right? If I remember right. No, it's a San Clemente fault zone. The trough is over here a little bit closer to the San Diego area. Uh, but a three-pointer, 3.0 coming in early this morning. Uh, also some activity stirring up north here in Northern California from last night. A couple twos and even a three-pointer up there across the northern edge of the San, San Andreas Fault. Uh, the latest quake, though, shows a 2.7 here across the Furnace Creek area. That's the Death Valley earthquake swarm that we've been watching and uh, over the last 30 days or so, things have been rocking and rolling out here uh, with over 100 earthquakes in the area of Death Valley. And it looks like it may be on this fault system out here. Well, it's covered right now, but uh, going to be this area right about here. Town Pass Fault, it looks like. Uh, either way, activity stirring up there today. Got uh, some further earthquake escalation going on there. So that means that uh, other areas out here should start showing some further elevated movement. Uh, Ridgecrest area obviously getting in on the activity with uh, some earthquake activity. Not, uh, 
not th- seen anything significant significantly um, elevated out here across the San Andreas Fault for now. Uh, as always, though, continue to watch that. We'll see how today plays out in terms of elevated seismic activity out here. Uh, Northern California, aside from the movement up here across the uh, southern end of the Cascadia, most of this activity from yesterday. Although, uh, there is another 2.1 here just prior to the plate boundary. A little bit of strain going on out there across the area. Uh, The rest of the uh, states out here, fairly quiet in terms of seismic activity. Um, until you get down to Texas, right? A lot of oil fields out there showing some elevated movement here today. Uh, lots of twos and ones out there across that area of Texas, Oklahoma as well. Uh, New Madrid seismic zone, this earthquake here from early this morning, a 1.6. Uh, that brings up the, uh, the earthquake count here a little bit for the week. Looks like about seven earthquakes, including that 3.7 that popped here a couple days ago, right in the middle of the New Madrid seismic zone. Eastern portion of the country, all quiet. Uh, Let's see what else we got here. Taiwan still seeing some movement out here. Some fives and fours, it looks like. Also some activity uh, into the Alaska region. Very small microquake activity. Nothing big. Uh, Just some typical movement up there across the region for now. And uh, let's see here. Not a whole lot going on through the rest of the world here. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Mediterranean region uh, a mixed bag of earthquake activity here today twos and threes from yesterday and today nothing big going on there's some further activity across that region of ethiopia <clears throat> excuse me it's gonna be down here across this rift boundary where things have been uh, somewhat active here for earthquake activity in this great rift zone the great rift valley there's uh, quite a few volcanoes through this area and this earthquake activity is very close Uh, to one of the uh, volcanoes in the region. Uh, Nothing here today from the USGS, but uh, I do see an earthquake uh, there on the EMSC model, 4.7 earthquake strike in that area. So things are still uh, somewhat active and continue to watch that, seeing how that's going to uh, um, respond in terms of the uh, earthquake activity there across the rift boundary. Big island of Hawaii, nothing going on out there for now in terms of volcanic activity. Uh, Let's take a look here at the latest information on the Kilauea Volcano, uh, which sits at a yellow and advisory. As far as any of the charts working out here, let's go ahead and check it out, see what we have. Um, Yeah, still looks like it's pretty much... uh, not working like it should uh that just seems a little odd for it to be so stationary out here across the chart and it's been that way ever since the data went offline uh back in early october Uh, so to me it doesn't look like things are working normal Uh, and that's subject to this chart as well the two-day chart I, i don't know how much of this is actually accurate it looks like it's just intermittent data being picked up out here so um, I have to say that that's, this is not uh, working properly still for the tilt meters out there across the Kilauea Volcano. Uh, not a whole lot of earthquake activity, but I've never, seen the si- I've never seen the tilt meter stay consistently level like that. Even in times of quietness out there in terms of earthquake activity, they're always fluctuating. So I believe those are still non-operable in terms of accuracy, right? The data is not uh, looking normal. Uh, Nothing going on for earthquake activity. Pretty quiet out there across the board for now. Uh, This tilt meter, let's see here what we got. This one's offline. Uh, Let's see here. I guess this one's fairly stationary as well. I don't know, I guess it's possible it could be quiet like that i I don't know though it just looks a little odd these are very small very small um measurements here so even at that type of uh, amplitude level it should show some type of fluctuation there in the data coming in and it's not so it's a little little fishy looking either way we'll continue to watch it and check back on it that's all we can do i don't i don't have control of the uh instrument uh 
repair. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's check out Yellowstone, see if anything is going on out here for Yellowstone National Park. Super volcano. Pretty quiet. Not seeing a whole lot of activity out here at all, to be uh, honest. A lot of just outside noise interference going on there, but uh, really no seismic activity going on. Um, earthquake or uh, weather outlook here. Got a slight risk returning to the area of Texas for tomorrow. Looks like uh, some tornado activity. Main threat's going to be some hail, right? Texas knows how to produce that big time thunderstorm hail. And that is coming back into the forecast there for um, tomorrow. Let's go ahead and put this into motion. There's that hurricane potential tropical system down there. Um, right now, still too early uh, to state if this is going to be anything of concern. There is a lot of drier air that this hurricane or this tropical system is starting to interact with. Let me... Uh, let me check out the uh, information here on this. It's going to be Raphael, right? Over the uh, over the region here. Off the coast of Florida. Well off the coast here of Florida. Um, so right now I'm moving over Cuba. Hurricane level is expected as we head deeper into this week. A little uncertainty though on this cone here so it looks like it's taking a more westward path uh, i don't see a major hurricane status out there in fact most of the weather models here showing it potentially peaking out here to category three staying that way for a little bit before dropping and dissipating uh, but right now there's no major threat uh, to the gulf of mexico states here uh, but we'll continue to watch rafael hurricane rafael uh, with pressure, 956 millibars there. Moving off to the uh, northwest at about 14 miles an hour. 150 mile per hour sustained winds there. So a decent little hurricane, but uh, safely spinning out there in the Gulf of uh, Mexico for now. All right, so rest of the weather models here. We got a storm system coming into the west coast here as we head towards the weekend. Uh, looks like a series of storm systems there potentially bring in further rain and snow to the Pacific Northwest and a little bit here to California as well. But uh, uh, it is what it is. kind of just appreciate all the rain that we can get out here in California and uh, look at the expected total accumulated precipitation here. Lots of rain up into the Pacific Northwest. Not so much here in the Valley of California. The mountains, yes, but... Uh, uh, either way, it's some moisture. Quite a bit more rain out here across the Midwest and Southern Plains. That drought condition there, pretty much uh, non-existent right now. They've seen a lot of rainfall out there. Let's see what the uh, drought map is currently looking like here for this area. Um, yeah, no surprise here. All the rain they've gotten here has completely demolished the, uh, the drought conditions that had persisted here through the summer in this area you can see where all the rain has been uh, stirring up uh, moisture anomaly anomaly uh, fairly soaked out there from all the rainfall and they're going to get more here uh, for the remainder of uh, this week and probably in the next week as well pretty dry out here across california and the eastern portion of the country portions of it um, still dealing with a whole bunch of drought across the northeast um, I know eventually that will fill in. California is starting to soak back in here into the drought as well. I'm hoping that changes. Uh, big time fire danger out there in Southern California today. You got these Santa Ana winds uh, stirring off the coast here of Southern California. Big time high extreme elevated fire danger. In fact, areas here where I live uh, outside of Chico, mainly up in the mountains, have power outages, planned power outages because of the wind. Um, that should die down through the day, but they turn off the power here uh, to prevent any potential wildfire risk due to lines going down because of the wind. So a lot of folks up there in the foothills uh, around Stony Ford, Elk Creek, uh, dealing with some power outages because 
Well, the wind, it's just a safety precaution there. That's the uh, Pacific Gas and Electric are um, putting into action to prevent uh, wildfires. There's Santa Ana winds there, offshore winds. Big time fire potential out there, folks, across the uh, southern portion of the state as well. So just be on guard. Um, the watch duty app out here in terms of wildfires, um, not a whole lot stirring up out here right now, but uh, we'll check back on this here a little bit later on, see uh, if any fires get going out here. Hopefully not, but uh, with this dry, very dry condition, see that the dryness is not even helping out uh, my throat. But I, I'm going to go uh, see the doctor here in a little bit. And I think I get some medication for it because it's been persistent for too long. So I'll take care of that. Had a couple emails there uh, for some from some viewers out there that uh, were concerned. I definitely appreciate the um, the thoughts and the emails there. It's, I feel fine. It's just my voice box. And it's not even in my lungs anymore. It's just my voice box. So... I think I'm at the end stages of bronchitis, but I will uh, verify that and um, take some medication here if I need to. All right, I'm out of here, folks. Have yourself a good day. We will catch you guys back out here later this evening. Stay safe and uh, just be cautious out there with these dry winds there across California. I wouldn't be starting any uh, barbecues or any outdoor burning out here at all as uh, stuff like that can create uh, some big time fire potential if it happens to get away from you have a good day we'll see you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening folks stay safe